Hello Mr. Soccer Universe. Once the semi-finalists for the Europa Conference League were set, it was clear I need to get a jersey for Club Bruges, which I did get, and there is a video up here, and I needed a jersey for Olympiacos. And I think pretty much the next day I scoured, especially Will Haben, because I didn't want to spend too much on this, and I made offers. I had contacts by the end of the weekend. I had Club Bruges secured, and I also thought that I had Olympiacos secured, except that the seller where I sent the money to never sent the jersey. And as I'm shooting this video, which is a good one and a half weeks ahead of the uh, Conference League final, I have requested some money. I have requested my money back because meanwhile I had to find another one. And it was really at the time there were two Olympiacos jerseys on there. I think it was the 16-17 uh, and the 17-18. And I was going back and forth. Both were coming in around 20 euros. There was just, um, you know, I thought in one time I'd go for the uh, 1718 because the other one didn't reply, although I like the 1617 a little bit better. And then just when there was the time coming, I thought, oh yeah, I'm going for the first one. That was the one that did not arrive. And so after two weeks, I submitted for the, 16, uh, for the uh, 1718 jersey. A bit. It came through. Unfortunately, the seller was abroad, so it was clear I will not have it for the return legs. Uh, what was even better uh, is I said, okay, let's see. I mean, uh, Olympiakos had a good lead. What was then even uh, worse is that the seller already printed his uh, label to send, but you have to send within seven days. And so he just got out of that. So we had to scramble once more. It's all fine. I have an Olympiakos jersey. I am set for the Europa Conference League final against Fiorentina. There's no doubt where my sympathies are. Uh, but I want to have an, at least one Olympiakos jersey, although I never thought I would have one of these, but more on that a little bit later. So let me present to you this long odyssey, the end of a long odyssey, the one that is still not quite finished because I want my money back or at least send me the other jersey, but not uh, like that. 1718 Olympiakos home jersey. Um, I think it's an interesting shirt. Uh, you know, it has the golden here on the side. It has some golden accents, but I like the previous one better because of the red shoulders and the red sleeves, which the current one does have as well. But I think overall, it's a kind of a clean looking jersey. Uh, as far as Olymp Olympiakos jerseys go, I think also the striping looks quite good overall. And we have also the four stars. So kind of an another addition to uh, my Greek collection. Curiously enough, although Olympiakos were so dominant in Greece in this century, uh, they didn't win the title in that season. That was, of course, Aik, and Olympiakos only finished third behind Pauk. Okay, here are all my Greek league jerseys for now. And, you know, uh, my relation with Olympiakos was always a kind of mere one. Uh, if not, I didn't like them uh, as much. Uh, first off, the first Greek team that I ever got to know was Pauk. Uh, I think they played uh, FC Tirol, uh, were beaten twice, but they kind of stuck with me because they played in black jerseys against uh, them, which at the time, it was, we are speaking the early 90s, was really unusual. Then I got to know Pauk got black and white, Lask is black, black and white. So I always said in my, uh, my Greek team is Pauk. But then uh, the one Greek team that I actually got to see was, of course, Panathinaikos, uh, making it all the way to the semifinals against Ajax, I think in 96, which was pretty amazing. And when my father uh, in 2000 had to go on a business trip to Athens and he brought back three fake jerseys, one from Ajax, one from Panathinaikos and one from Olympiakos, um, I want to have the, Pan the Panathinaikos one. Uh, simple. It was also the one that the other my other two brothers didn't choose for the simple reason it is green, but I said it's fine. And then when I was finding the real replacement for that, I was quite happy. I know Panathinaikos have a relationship with Rapid, which is not nice to me, but for me, they are the Greek European team. So seeing Olympiakos now in this final uh, seems a little bit off. Even uh, worse, and we might debate on that, and you know, I don't want to start now a big Greek debate here, but... I have heard uh, someone say that this might be the greatest achievement of any Greek team ever. Panathinaikos reached a European Cup final against 
Ajax in 71. And this is just a conference league. Yes, beating Aston Villa at home is probably an amazing feat. And I think the run was quite amazing. I have a hard time with that because even Panathinaikos reaching a semi-final was a major, major upset there. So, you know, I'll let you guys judge. Um, one thing I have to say is now that I have three of the teams, I guess I need to go for Ajax too. And maybe I have to start talking a little bit more about the Greek League. The problem is we don't get it. I cannot really watch it here. So other than that would be definitely an interesting one. But yeah, I have no three out of the big four. Ike will need to come into the collection, that's for sure. Any case, let me know what you think about this Olympiakos jersey. Let me know about my little Greek collection in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!